you should try to eat less chocolate. Do you remove your makeup. Don't leave it there because it will get into your skin over the night and it will not be good. You have to move your body. You have to sweat and you have to keep moving. That's really important. Today I'm here with another video. It is about how to get rid of acne. I hope this video will be helpful for you and I have acne. I know how hard it is to get rid of it but I hope that these tips will help you in your future and so yeah let's get started. So the first step is food. You have to eat healthier because Every time when I eat chocolate or chips or something that has a lot of fat in it, I get acne. It's really bad and you should try to eat less chocolate because once I read in a magazine that chocolate should be good for your acne and it's not true, you're, it will make it worse. Don't eat chocolate. Don't try to eat, eat less of it. Like If you want to eat a little piece of it, then do it, but don't eat chocolate the whole time because it it is bad for your skin, like chips and other um, foods like like junk food from McDonald's. I love McDonald's, I'm not saying that I don't like it, but it is bad for your skin. Try to eat less of it. So the second step is sport. And that means that you have to move your body, you have to sweat and you have to keep moving. That's really important because our body was made to move. I know, I suck at sport. I shouldn't be telling you guys that you have to move your body because I don't. I try to but I'm really lazy so I'll try to do it. But I'm just giving you guys a tip on how to get rid of your acne so move your body and try to do more sport like workouts or try to dance 20 minutes in your room it will help you to get rid of your acne so now I'll show you some products that really helped me first I want to say that I tried so many products because I used to have so much acne I used to my skin was really bad. I can't describe it. Maybe I'll find a picture and insert it now. If I didn't find a picture, I'm sorry. But yeah, I'll show you some products. I tried out, I also tried out Proactive and all this stuff and it didn't help me. I don't want to say that the product is bad, but it didn't help me. So maybe it, it is good for your skin but for my skin it wasn't really good it didn't help me that much the first product is a drugstore product and it is this um clear pore face water thing from neutrogena um my skin no wait who suggested me this i can't remember but it was a professional person who suggested me this when I was in Las Vegas because I went to the doctor to check out my acne because I didn't look good. So this one is really good because it has um, salicylic, I can't pronounce it, wait. Salicylic acid, yeah. It helps because it takes out the oil of your skin. So you know when you have acne, you're skin must be oily yes I think so so yeah this will help you after you clean your face product is also a drugstore product and it is by Neutrogena it is the visibly clear pink grapefruit um, face wash this one is it says that it helps to to, to, to get rid of acne it, and this is good because it doesn't say that it will take it all off because that's not true. You have to change your lifestyle and the way you eat to get rid of acne. If you buy a product don't be like oh my gosh my skin will be so beautiful after this because it won't. You have to change your whole lifestyle. So this product will actually help you to get rid of acne. I do really like it and it is not expensive at all. It is really good and it smells like pink grapefruit. 
Here you have also another drugstore product. And this one is by Nivea. Nivea. <laughs> Stay clear. Um, face water thing here. It is for a clear skin. I think this one is good when you don't have that much acne, like when you already changed your way to eat and your lifestyle and your acne got better, then it will help you to keep your skin the way it is and it will be good for your skin. So this one is a high-end product, but I like it. I do really think it is amazing. It is by Clinique, the liquid facial soap for oily skin. And this one helped me a lot. Seriously, it changed my skin. When I started to use this, my skin got really better and it helped me to get rid of acne. And I know it might be more expensive than another product but if you really have oily skin that I, I do really recommend this you can also go to the store and ask if they have like a little example of it so you can try it out but I do really think it is okay well it is good but you have to wait for like two weeks on till you see a difference you know what I mean so yeah I really recommend this one if you have oily skin this one is also a drugstore product and it is also from Neutrogena because I do really like Neutrogena for um, acne to, to get rid of acne. And this one is the Visible Clear Pink Grapefruit Skin Scrub. And this one is so good because it is not that... The, the scrub is really thin and the little scrub pieces, they're, they're not that damaging for your skin, they're really good, they're actually for your face. And I had an auto scrub and it was really bad and it was not good for my skin because if you like rub it too much it might it got even worse. Your skin might get even worse. If you don't use the right products and your skin might get even worse. And this one is really good. This one, if you use both the face wash and this one then it is even better because you know you have the same formula for your skin. But yeah, if you're looking for a good face scrub, then go and check this out because this was the best scrub I ever had for my skin. And I had a lot, guys. This one is the winner. Yay! Then, I do have to say that you always have to remove your makeup. Do remove your makeup. Don't leave it there because it will get into your skin over the night and it will not be good. If I don't remove my makeup, I can't see an acne the next day there will be an acne so do remove your makeup with like this little um, makeup remover with this little makeup remove what are my fishes doing? you do always have to remove your makeup and then because I like to be sure that my face is clean I do have this little not actually not little um, this BB Young Care quick and clean um, face wash. This one does remove your eye makeup and your your foundation. So I do really like this because I I saw a difference after using this for a couple weeks because it actually removed my makeup. Because if you remove your makeup and then you remove it again you will see that there is still um, foundation on your skin. So I like to remove my makeup twice. This one is also by Clinique and it is um, the Step Free, it is the clarifying lotion and this one is also for the oily skin and this one is so 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 amazing. This one helped me a lot with the, um, with the face wash and yeah, I, I don't, this was my boyfriend's phone. I don't like the way it, it smells but it helps you, it will change your skin if you like have really bad oily skin then I recommend to get a product which is more expensive because it is worth it it is actually worth it if your skin has like bad acne and scars and everything then go to a professional person because you need to get something more special and something that works better it is getting darker guys I'm sorry so this one I got two days ago but I saw a difference after the, the first time I used it and it is by Lush the Cupcake um, 
face mask this one works really good you have to keep it in your fridge and it is for oily skin and for teenage skin for yeah it is it smells like chocolate I want I won't open it because it drops I don't know why it is dropping but it helped me I have to use it two times a week and it is really good because I wait 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 Ugh. I'm in stress I gotta be cold so I gotta use it twice a week and I have to leave it for 15 minutes on my skin and it will take of all the oil and all the yuck out of your skin it will help you I like it a lot and it does smell like chocolate which is awesome that for is to clean your brushes do you clean your brushes because on your brushes is all the dirt and all the oil from your skin like if you have um really oils oily skin then the oil will get on your brushes when you're doing your makeup so you have to clean your brushes every week so we'll show you now how to clean your brushes because some people just don't know how to so you will need a little piece of a paper towel do you say it like this I don't know and my brush cleanser is from Kiko I will show you you have to take your brush so you will see all the yuck that is it is that is on my brush so yeah I'll just spray this and then you take the paper towel and you clean it okay you clean it so guys look at this I mean wow who wants to have this thing on your face every time when you do your makeup and your your brush is dirty this is what you get on your cheeks and this produces acne I'm not lying it does it is also a reason why you get acne. Step five is to be gentle to your skin. Like don't press your acne or don't touch your face with dirty fingers. Don't touch it or like if you wanting if you will wash your um, your face, make sure to wash your hands before you wash your face because you will wash all the the dirt on your on your fingers with the with the face wash it, it will not be good so do wash your hands before you wash your face and also when you're about to to um, to take the towel to dry your skin make sure not to rub it but to be gentle like this to dry it in a gentle way because your skin is not something that you can be really bad with you have to be nice with your skin because your skin will be nice with you if you're nice with your skin and you always use the sun protection they're like um, BB creams with SPF in it and compact powders and all other stuff in there there's also something from Neutrogena which has SPF in it and it helps your skin the, it is also to get rid of acne. I, I don't remember but I know it is white and it has like a little orange stripe on it. And yeah, go and check it out if you're wanting to know which product it is. So guys, this was my video and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that your skin will get better after this. And yeah, I do. I will also link um, a video down below from Nikki Philippe. I don't remember her name, but she has a video on healthy junk food. So I will link it down below so you have healthy junk food, which will also help your skin. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope it was helpful. And give it a thumbs up if it was. And let me know if you want more videos. If you have video suggestions, yeah, let me know. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.